Hi guys, this is week 27 since we've been locked down. It is the third week of the last month of the cycle. So next week will be a review week. The week after that will be stripe test and graduation. So we're gonna start with the warm up. <clears throat> Jacks, arms straight up and down. Forgot to start my watch. Never waste a workout. Keep your hands up. And then touch, so touch and up. <clears throat> Knees, keep the standing one bent. Other side. And next one, ladder steps. So imagine that there's a ladder laying down and you need to pick your knees up as you go side to side through the ladder so that you don't catch your toes on the rungs. And kicks front, side, Back to jumping jacks. Punches. And side to side, touch the floor. Knees. Other side.
Lather steps. kicks. time okay um now will be the time if you're warm then we stretch if you're not warm take a few minutes run through that whole cycle again and then come back to me and we'll stretch reach up okay so when you're doing this you're not just putting your arms up but you're pushing your hands toward the ceiling so you should feel some crunching in your upper back and then straight out to the front Chin up, back flat, and then reach for the floor. Over to one side, grab your ankle, pull your, keep your chin up, pull your chest to your knee. And down in the side stretch. The goal here is to keep both heels on the floor. If you need more stretch, this knee, this elbow, push the knee further out. Turn, stretch your hip flexor. Make sure that your ankle is out past your knee. Push your hip flexor down toward the floor. If you can put your elbows on the floor and still do that, that's even better. Straighten out your legs. Keep all your toes pointing in that direction. Chin up, back flat. Push, reach your chest down towards the front knee. You should feel this in the hamstring of your front leg. Come to the center. Toes straight forward, push your knees out. Other side, grab your ankle. Down in the side stretch. Turn, stretch your hip flexor. Straighten out your legs. Toes are all facing that way. Chin is up, back is flat. Stretch your hamstring. And have a seat. So I want you to start here. So I'm gonna sit like this, except I'm gonna angle myself more a little bit off. No, I'm gonna go the other way. I'm gonna angle more off to one side. So I'm gonna do here, so the goal is to get your heels your knees, your butt, all on the floor. So I rock back and forth a little bit. Then I'm gonna pick my feet up and just, if my feet are staying on the floor, I guess what I'm doing really is picking my knees up and coming over to the other side and doing the same thing. <clears throat> Keep your feet on the floor, knees up, back to the first side. And once more to the other side, feet stay on the floor, bring your knees up, just turn your hips the other way and rock a little bit. And put your feet straight out in front of you. Keep your chin up, so I don't want this. I want chin up and reach out as far as you can get. Get grab your feet if you can, put your elbows on the floor. If you can do both, it's even better. And up. Okay, so we're going to start with a squat and a front kick. So I'm going to start here, step out and squat, front kick. And I go the other way, step out and squat, front kick.
Make sure when you do your squat that your toes are straight forward and that you're keeping your shoulders over your hips and not sticking your butt out. Okay, next one. Um, it's called a wide pike up. So I'm gonna start here. I'm in a plank, but my feet are wide. My back is flat, butt's down. Head is up, I pull my feet in, and jump them back out again. Okay, next one, have a seat. We're doing sit-ups, so I'm gonna go this way. I want you to see my feet, but I don't wanna take a chance of smacking my head on the cabinet. So I'm gonna do sit-up, come up, touch the opposite toe. Next one is lunges, alternating lunges. You can step forward if you want to. If you step forward, make sure you step forward far enough that this knee is over the ankle. I find I have more balance if I step back. Okay, next one. These are called dead bugs. Lay on your back. You put your hands and your feet up. Okay, keep your head off the floor. Keep your shoulder blades off the floor. So the bottom of the shoulder blades are just touching. You're gonna take one foot in the opposite hand and bring them down and I have the couch in the way. Don't go too far the other way. I'm gonna crash into something else. Last one, you know it's coming, right? We do, I'm gonna fold this in half once. We do tabletop to L sit. Okay, so if you're going, why doesn't she do more conditioning? You don't need me to do that. You can just rewind that like six minutes or five minutes and do that set again. Okay, then we're gonna go on to some combinations. We're gonna do some hand techniques and some foot techniques. Most of them are pulled out of your form somewhere and then we'll put them together. So you're gonna start off with jab cross. So just in my guard stance, jab cross, make sure that you're rotating, because that's where the power comes from, for both of them. Okay, then we're gonna put 
together a, a knee with a push front kick. So somebody's right in front of me. So I'm gonna grab their head, I'm gonna pull it in and throw a knee and then tuck my foot right up in their stomach and push them away with the front kick. So knee, front kick, knee, front kick. Three, four, five. And then same thing on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, then we're gonna put those two things together. And I want you to visualize a person, you're hitting them. Your punches are the height of the face or the throat of someone who's the same height as you are. So then you jab to the face, cross to the face, grab the head, pull them in and knee, and push them away with the front kick. So five sets. One, two, three, four, five. If you don't have it, do a couple more, that's okay. If there's somebody who lives in your house with you who's willing to hold pads for you, even better. This is much more fun on a pad. I'm doing it by myself, so I can't hang the pads in the, in the air, so you're just gonna have to deal with it without. Okay, so next combination we're gonna do. We're gonna start here, and we're gonna do back fist, descending back fist. Okay, so from the other direction, it looks like this. Back fist, hands cross, Step behind so you drop your weight here. Here's your backup mass. Descending back fist. So do five sets on each side. One, two, three, four, five. And then on the other side. One, two, Three, four, five. Then we're gonna do side kick. You guys know how to do side kicks, right? Make sure you turn your standing foot. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're gonna do five on the other side too. I'm not gonna do five on the other side. My hip is getting better. Um, and I would like to keep it that way. So one, Two, three, four, five. Okay, so now we're gonna put the combination together. Somebody's here. I back fist to the side of their head. I step behind, I drop my weight, descending back fist to the nose, and then I push them away with the side kick. So five sets, one, two, Three, four, five, again, if, you, if it's not in your head yet, do a few more. If you can get somebody to hold pads for you, even better. Next one we're going to do, um, this one goes in a little bit different order. Okay, so we're gonna do a U punch. This comes from Basadai. So when you do a U punch, if I throw my punch here, I'm out of balance. You wanna be in front stance or chinkle chassis. I'm throwing two punches. One is to the height of the throat, of someone who's the same height as I am, and the other one is to their solar plexus. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna step in and punch. Two, three, four, Five, and then on the other side, one, two. Make sure when you do this that you're in triangle chassis. You target straight in front of you. This is how it is in the form, two, three, four, five. Okay, then we're gonna add to that. We're gonna do a crescent kick. So crescent kick, land in soaker of chassis, you punch, grab them. Left foot comes in, left foot goes straight back, and you throw them on the floor. Okay, so crescent kick, 
you punch, grab, and throw. So, one. Two. Three. Four. And five. Okay, so now your warm up's done. You've done some drills. Grab a drink and then come back to me and we'll get into the curriculum part. Okay. Tung Shido, week 27B. We're gonna start with some kicks and then um, we're gonna throw some other stuff at them. So we're gonna start off with a front kick. You guys know how to throw a front kick, but we're gonna talk, we're gonna break it down some anyway. So my standing foot can be facing towards your target. Ideally, I'm gonna turn it off to about 45 degrees. It gives me, I find it gives me a little bit more balance. My hips, the front of my body, I say this to the kids all the time, when you're doing a front kick, what part of your body is facing the target? It's your front. So if you turn sideways like this, it's not a front kick. Your hips and your shoulders have to be square to your target. Power comes from rotation. Your rotation is here, so my knee comes up, and I'm gonna push my hips in. So it's a thrust kick. A lot, it's, you'll see a lot of people try to throw it really high, and for demo purpose or tournament purpose, that's really cool if you can come up over your head, especially if you can lock it out way up there. But from a self-defense point of view, knee, hip, solar plexus is really where you want to be kicking. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to kick. I'm going to turn my standing foot just a little bit so I balance. Knee comes up, push, re-chamber, and bring it back down. Knee up, push, re-chamber down. That's two, three, four, five. And then the other side, one, two, Okay, so my hips are square to you. Three, four, five. Okay, so put that away for a minute. And then we're gonna go on to a side kick. So this is, when you chamber the side kick, your butt kinda has to be, the side of your butt needs to be facing the target and your heel. So just like when I say to the kids, if you're doing a front kick, what part of your body is facing the target? It's the front of your body. When you're doing a side kick, the side of your body is facing the target. So I start here, I turn my standing foot away, I bring my knee up, then I turn. So my side, my butt, my heel are facing the target, and I kick one, two, three, four, five. And then do five more on the other side. I'm not going to, left hip is not better yet, but I'll count for you. One, Two, three, four, five. Okay, so then we're gonna do crescent kick. Crescent kick is the front kick chamber. So when you do a crescent kick, it doesn't, your chamber doesn't swing out here. It comes straight up in front of you as if you were doing a front kick. And then the rotation is there. So I'm gonna come up one. I'm hitting, ideally you're hitting with this outside blade of your foot. I, my foot doesn't really turn that way unless I pull on it. So what I do is I hit with the whole bottom of my foot. But ideally it's the outside blade. Two, three, four, five. And then you do five on the other side. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a technique to this. I don't care what, you're gonna do something with your hands that makes sense after each one. So we're gonna start off with five front kicks. You're gonna back one front kicks and they're gonna land back. So one, two, three, four, five, Okay, it doesn't have to be those same techniques that I did do a couple more. Okay, but what I want you to think about is you're doing your kick, your kick is proper, and then you're rotating 
and setting your weight into where it ever needs to be for that technique. So if I do a front kick like this, and then I throw a punch here, that's not useful. But if I do my front kick, and then I set my weight into my punch, regardless of which hand I'm using, then it should become a valid technique. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing with side kick. Side kick lends itself to all sorts of cool stuff. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so do the five, do five, do a couple more. Try to find something else that you can add as a technique at the end of your side kick. Then we'll do the same thing with the crescent kick. And from the crescent kick, obviously it makes sense that the first one is what we did from Bastadai. So crescent kick, you punch. But you can also do say, crescent kick, single punch. Crescent kick, forearm to the throat. Uh, let's see. Crescent kick, back fist. Crescent kick, in block. Okay, so anything you can do, you just gotta make sure that your, your power's going in the right direction. So take your crescent kick, add a few more things to it. Okay, so then, um, I want you to walk around the house right now and collect a few random things, okay? You're gonna, you're gonna, I'm gonna walk away and collect a few random things because I was not on the ball enough. I knew we were gonna do this, but I didn't collect my things. So I'm gonna collect my things while you go collect your things. Pick up at least two or three different things. Let's see. Okay, so my things, I have a pillow, I have my bottle of hand sanitizer, and I have a ruler. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're going to do your forms, your form, your forms, with something in your hand. Okay, so some things don't make ideal weapons, but they're still, I still want you to think about what you're doing with something in your hand. Okay, so I'm here. I'm gonna use my ruler first for basic form one, because just a ruler makes a really nice weapon. Okay, so I'm not switching it back and forth hands. Whichever hand that I'm using, it's got something in it. I want to put the sharp edge facing out. So I'm going to do basic form one. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, that, that was from basic form two, but it's, I'm going in the right steps and I'm coming up under the throat. One, two. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, one, here, and back. Okay, then I'm going to get something different. I'm going to get my pillow. Okay, pillow is in two hands which means whatever I'm doing here, I could be, pretend it's a book, I tap it, the pillow was sitting on the chair right there, so I can be smashing in somebody's face, but I guess we could do this with a book too. There's plenty of books here. Let's get this one. This is a really good book. This was um, written about the year that they had so many people climbing up on top of Mount Everest that lots of people died up there because they were just overcrowded. So it's a good book if you want to read it too, but we'll do chills on Aylor with this in our hands. So I got it in both hands. As if I was gonna do, use it to do a block, but I'm gonna keep it. If I have something like this that takes both hands, I'm gonna put it in both hands. So chill song ear row. One. Okay, so I'm making, I'm using it. I'm not just driving, I'm not just going in the right direction. I'm actually using what's in my hands. Two. One. Two. One. Two. Three. Here. One, two, one, two, one. Bring this around, come up, slam it into their elbows. Two, three, here, one. Two, 
One, two, and back. So like I said, I don't want you to just take it and go through the motions, okay? So I'm doing a low block and a high block. I want you to actually, if you put something there that's hard, that you can turn into a weapon, make the form work using that as a weapon. Okay, so my other thing I got, I got my bottle of hand sanitizer. It's in the baggie so it doesn't leak all over my backpack. Um, if you need this kind of hand sanitizer, see either one of them is Galibus or Miss Parity. Um, it doesn't smell like anything. I can use it. I'm not allergic to it. That's why I have this kind of hand sanitizer. So we're going to do Basidai. So we're going to do Basidai now since I have something that fits in one hand. And I really would rather not use this as a weapon and have it leaking all over my living room rug. Every move I do, I'm going to switch it from one hand to the other. So I'm going to start here. One. Two. Three. Four. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, here, two, three, four, here, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, see the losing count there. One, two, three, not sorry, three, here. See, I get distracted because I have a bottle of hand sanitizer in my hand. I'm back. And the whole point of this drill, you're going to have some really dumb drill. It's not, though, because what you're focusing on is every move you make, you're taking what's ever in your hand and switching it to the other hand. So you got, you're focusing on that in some ways more than you're focusing on the next move of the form. So if you don't know, if you don't have the moves in the form burned pretty well into your muscles, you're gonna lose track of where you are in the form while you're switching hands. So I want you to go through your form. If it's just basic form one and two, chill sung, add basadai, add dual hyung. But what I want you to do is I want you to do them. We did them um, by the count. And then I want you to do each one with something in your hand. So try it with something that you can use as a weapon, a stick, a book, not something that's meant to be a weapon. It's a, don't get a bat. That's not what I'm looking for. Something that's not really meant to be a weapon. And then do it with something that's not a weapon at all in your hand and switch it back and forth. Okay. Then I want you to get your chucks. So we're going to do, we're going to start with the single chuck form. We start here to your shoulder, to the corner. One two, two triangles, one, two, bring it to the other side. I gotta be really careful here not to hit the TV or the lights. One, two, one, two, bring it back to the front. One, two, three, four, catch. High block punch, front kick, pump front kick, low block. Don't hit the light. Helicopter, hit, so finish a triangle, back to the first corner, one, Two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, catch. Okay, so if you're doing chuck, single chuck, do that again. If you're doing double chuck, get your other chuck and do the same form. If you are a, I don't know where, okay. Uh, then what I want you to do, in either case, I want everybody to get their chucks. So either one chuck or two chucks. And every move, not just every phrase, but every move, we're going to face a different direction. So I'm going to start here and I'm going to face the first corner. One, 
two. Then I gotta turn. One, two. Then I gotta turn. One, two. And turn again. One, two. And turn again. One, two, three, four, catch. Turn again, high block punch. Turn again, front kick, pump front kick, low block. Turn again, helicopter. Turn again, down and up, one, two, turn again, turn again, turn again, and turn one more time. Okay, so if you're confused, that's okay, you're supposed to be. Um, what I want you to do is mess around with that and see if you can do it. And then, again, if you can find the same person who prevented you the other day from walking into things, have them call a direction. So if I'm here, and they call me to that side, I'll do my first two moves. One, two, and then they're going to call me to the front. One, two. And then they're going to call me to the back. One, two. And they're going to call me back to the front. One, two. And then to that side. One, two, three, four, catch. Call to the front. High block punch. Call to the back. Front kick. Hum front kick. Low block. Call to the side. Helicopter. Call back to the front. One, sorry. One, two. Call to the back. One, two, call to the front. One, two, call to the side. One, two, call to the back. One, two, three, four, catch. Okay, so beginners, green belts, two straight brown belts, you guys are gonna practice that. And red belts and black belts, you're gonna get your sword. And then you're gonna come back with your sword and we'll do sword stuff. Okay, she is you back with your sword. This is my little in the house sword. We're gonna do the whole form once, but I'm gonna tell you where I want the phrase or count breaks to be, because then we're gonna do some other stuff with it. So I'm gonna start here. And this is one. So two is here. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I forgot to start the timer. I don't know how long this is taking. That's not a good thing. Okay, so then we're going to take each one of those counts, each one of those steps, and we're gonna do it in a different direction. So I'm gonna start here. This time, I'm gonna go around and I will go counterclockwise. So I'll be turning towards my left side on every move. So this is one. Okay, so now I gotta move a quarter way around for the next one. And then a quarter way around for the next one and a quarter way around for the next one, and a quarter way around for the next one, and then a quarter way around for the next one, and a quarter way around for the next one, and a quarter way around for the next one, and a quarter way around for the next one, and a quarter way around for the next one, and back, and you're thinking that was really hard. Yeah, that was supposed to be really hard. Okay, and now we'll go around again. Well, I want you to go around again in another direction. Okay, then this will work better if you can get somebody else in your house to do this with you. But if you can't, do this anyway. Okay, so whichever direction I call to you from, you're going to do it. So you're going to start on the floor. You're going to start on your knees. And you're going to do one, which is here and out. 
Okay, so now I want you to turn to this side and do the next move, two. And then I want you to turn to this side and do the next move, three. And I want you to come here, four. And then you're gonna turn come, so that you're coming back towards the back of the room, five. Back to here, six. Seven. Eight. Turn towards me. Nine. Turn towards me. Ten. And set. Okay, so that's going to be much harder. And what I'd like to see you do is get somebody in your house to move around. Okay, it's hard to see me when I'm moving around because you're watching me the video. But if you can get them to move even part of the corners, that's even better. Okay, so to get credit for this class, do not tag me under the video. They don't show up. I go looking for them. I can't find them. If you are over 18, send me a message, your picture or your video on Facebook Messenger. And if you are under 18, have your grown up, send me a picture or video on Facebook Messenger and I'll talk to you guys later.